Now, to be absolutely honest with you guys, I didn't want to do this video, at least not yet. But I'm just too happy that I finally found a great, affordable and easy solution to equip my car with wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay because of this system right here. This is the Roach Top 8.8 inch system that retails for around $300. I purchased this from my own money so I don't have any affiliation to the company and after using it for a week I'm just so excited already that I really wanted to share this with you guys. All right, so now let's actually take a closer look at what's included inside of the box of this Roadtop system because there are actually quite a few nice surprises. First off, of course, we'll have the manual right here that shows us how to connect our smartphone, how to use the wireless Android Auto and CarPlay, and then we can already see the main unit itself that looks really nice so far. And then we'll get to the other accessories that are in the box. So here we can see that there are actually quite a few. First off is this little arm that you can mount on top of your dashboard that also sticks to the dashboard and then you can adjust it when it comes to the height as well as also length. Next up we'll have an aux cable that's actually braided which is quite nice. Moving on we'll then find the rear camera which is always included inside of the package so you don't have the choice if you want it or not. I'm probably not going to use it for now at least. And then moving on we'll find the next cable and this is the power plug that gets into the cigarette lighter and this is really nice we have an on and off switch on this thing which I've never seen before but this is just super handy as you will see later in this video. Next up we even have a splitter so that you can still for example connect USB devices to charge or also a secondary device that also uses the cigarette lighter and uh, I was super happy about this and you can even adjust the angle. Next up we'll then have the strip that you can mount below the display and then we have uh, this plate that you can also adhere to the top of your dashboard if it doesn't stick by itself but I think this shouldn't be an issue overall. Next up we'll then get to the main unit itself as you can see right here we have still plastic on there a few bubbles but that doesn't really bother us too much let's actually remove the film and then we can see that we just have a super nice widescreen display uh, which i'm a huge fan of this is how the unit looks from the top and overall the build quality is also better than on the copyright system and just feels more solid and more premium and i'm a huge fan of that now when we then move on we'll take a look at the ports so on the one side we'll have the power input audio aux output as well as also the rear camera in and on the other side a micro sd card slot as well as a usb port and that's basically it so overall a really nice package also when it comes to all the stuff that's included inside of the box all right so now we are sitting in my car which is a volkswagen golf mk7 that was built in 2013 and while i have a built-in navigation system that i also don't want to lose i really wanted to have carplay and android auto and of course also wirelessly because this is much more convenient and this is where the system that you already saw comes in this is the 8.8 inch rotop system and i just really like the widescreen aspect ratio of this display but now let's actually turn on the ignition to show you how it works so the ignition is on and you'll see in a second they can already see it that the system will boot up one thing that i'll have to mention is that the boot up time that it takes to get started is a little bit longer than on the Carporite 7 inch system that I had before it but that's basically the only negative aspect that I could mention. Now a CarPlay just connects wirelessly to my iPhone 13 Pro and then you can see here we are in CarPlay. Then it will also connect to my in-car system also using Bluetooth so the audio quality is quite nice so yeah I can see it's now connected because it has two Bluetooth modules built in. So now I actually have to turn down the speakers but this is just super nice to have that you have a dual Bluetooth connection to your phone and then also to the in-car system as well. Now what I also have to stress is just the quality of the panel that is built into the system because it's far superior to the panel that's built into the copyright system and also just the aspect ratio and the size in my opinion is much better because it doesn't really block as much of your view as the 7 inch display that was a bit taller and also it just 
is able of course to show more content and what's also nice is that no matter if you're using CarPlay or if you're using Android Auto, you can of course also use the split view right here and so you can control for example the music while also uh, viewing the maps at the same time and also for example uh, use the voice navigation or also uh, just choose your route. And of course you have a wide variety of apps to choose from so you can't only use Apple Maps but you can also for example use Google Maps or you could also use Waze for example. Don't be surprised this is currently all in German because I'm based in Germany but of course you can also um, choose a different language if you want to. And one thing that I also want to mention is that on the copyright system I had an issue that you weren't really able to see all the streets around you because the contrast of the panel wasn't that great. This is not really an issue here. It looks absolutely amazing and the screen quality overall is just miles miles ahead. Now one thing that I do want to mention is I'm not sure if you can actually hear it that there seems to be a fan built in. So if you don't have any music and your car isn't moving then you can hear the fan but if you're actually on the road and listening to music there's no way that you can hear it. And the connection not only here with wireless CarPlay but also with wireless Android Auto works absolutely flawless. Now since you have a wireless connection to your phone to the Rotop system and then a wireless connection from the Rotop system to here the in-car system of course it can happen that there's a hiccup or a bug so that you have to restart the system. But there I'm also very thankful that we have this power cable inside of the box that you have seen with this red button that you can simply press while driving and I'll do this right now and then the entire system will shut off. So now if I press it again it will turn on again and this basically fixed all the issues that I had and this is nice so that you don't have to shut off the engine for example or that you don't have to pull out the cable behind here. You don't have to do any of that just pressing the button two times and then the system will boot up again and usually all the bugs that you were experiencing are then gone as well. Now if you have any questions about this system please let me know in the comments. In my full review that's coming in a couple of weeks of course I'll also show you the Android Auto connectivity. All right, so this is what I was just talking about. I still wanted to show it to you guys. This is how Android Auto looks. Now this is wirelessly connected to my OnePlus 9 Pro. And here in Android Auto, it's a little bit different because here we have the split screen turned on all the time. So if you, for example, have the maps on the left side, then you'll have Spotify on the other side. If you then go into Spotify, then you'll have maps on the other side. So this, I think also a nice way to use the screen real estate that you can see right here. And overall, I think it's just great that you don't have like black bars on the left and right, but instead that the entire widescreen display gets used. But that's basically all for now. I think this is just an excellent system and I can't wait for your guys' question and then to share my full review in a couple of weeks with you guys. But again, I just couldn't wait uh, for doing this video because I think this is an excellent product. Uh, that's something that I've been just looking for and waiting for for a very long time. So thank you very much for watching and I really hope to see you in my next video.